Alright, so um, this is a fresh install of the uh, current beta of the new Sense UI ported over to Droid. It's only just been set up, uh, given time to load. I've done virtually nothing other than bounce around in it, you know, look around, make sure that it's, it's up to full speed so you can see where it's at right now. Uh, live wallpaper seem to slow it down a bit and the Nexus one doesn't work, so we're going to play around with using some of the updates that have come out for other ROMs. Um, I'm not too sure that GPS, um, SAT GPS is working. A GPS does look to be working, and at the moment Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are down, and we're having a few problems with the phone, um, namely incoming calls. I think it has to do with the um, uh, the PRI and it registering on the network. Not positive. We're still playing with that, but otherwise, it's fairly uh, stable. Um, I've seen Rosie reload on me once or twice, primarily when uh, messing with widgets and wallpapers, not so much just using it, um, you know, from one place to the next. There's the new Rosie pinch to zoom. It also works when you just tap the home button while you're on the home screen. You can see there's a, a little bit of lag in the transitions, nothing I can't live with. Um, personally, I use GDE most of the time. So it's it's not nearly as snappy. I expect that if we can, we're probably going to modify the framework res and, and launch this bad boy with a little bit of transparency in a few of these um, screens that we're used to seeing them in these days, like the status bar and the launcher there. Um, it's got the HTC phone. Uh, one thing that I've noticed that I think will be a pretty big deal to a lot of people is the camera app is not the camera app we're used to seeing. It is an HTC camera app, provides a few more features. Um, there we go, getting the trackball message. And a few more features here, brightness, contrast, saturation, uh, we got sharpness, though I'm not too sure about how many of those features are functioning. We can adjust the resolution, the ISO, let's see. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but we have a 5 megapixel sensor on the droid and that's not providing the option. Hopefully there's something that can be hacked into that. I uh, don't know, it depends on if it's like an XML file and, the, and an APK that we can get out or not. Um, we got geotagging, metering, face detection, shutter sound can be turned off in it. I think it was on by default and I shut that off. Uh, oh, you got all your like color tweaking, um, sepia, grayscale, all that stuff, and uh, flash control works pretty well. Yeah, let me just do a quick snap. When it takes this picture, oh, you can focus on screen. Although I don't think I can hold steady enough for this to do much good. When it snaps the picture and previews it initially, it does look kind of jacked up. But the uh, end of picture when reviewed in the picture gallery or whatever looks fine. There we go. And I thought I turned the shutter sound off. So there's your proof the camera is working on this build. Uh, and you heard the snap of the sound there. In terms of hardware features, I can also pull up Teeter and demo to you the accelerometers and a little more sound. I'm not going to take the phone out of the mount for the sake of keeping the video focused. You can see that that does work as I tip my little mount and again you heard the sound. So we know audio is up and running. Uh, is there anything else special at the moment? Widgets are all fully functional, not having any problem with them. Um, if you check out the page, I've listed a few other features that are, as far as I know, pretty unique to the HTC ROMs that I'm, I'm really impressed with. Um, and some of them are little, but still, it's, it's the small things HTC does that really polishes them up. I don't have any contacts in here right now nor any accounts configured, so I can't show off the, the tabs at the bottom. We've got a little graphical glitch, be no big deal to fix that. 
but uh, you've seen all that demoed before on the, the Nexus and other phones running similar frameworks. You can see this is fairly smooth. Scenes do work. I'll go like, uh, I don't remember which one I'm on. Try work. Tell it not to save my current one. So there's the work scene loaded right up. As you can see, the widgets are there. And, oh, there we go, the background's working. And live wallpapers do work right now, like I said, though they're, they're a little sluggish in my opinion, and the Nexus doesn't work. So we're going to play with that. Oh, there we go. There's some of the some of the tabs for various things. This is the desk desk app, I believe. I don't know how I just pulled that up. I didn't intend to. Uh, you can see the new graphics in the settings and about phone software info. 2629 OMAP kernel, although well, that's interesting, it looks like it was built for the OMAP 1, so I wonder if this isn't um, optimized for the OMAP 3, we might be able to rebuild the kernel and improve on things there even. Vols user, shows the ERD 72, Vols user 2.1, so that's something else that potentially could be improved on in the future, I think there are a couple newer builds of 2.1. Um, Though I'm not sure about the dependencies on the HTC framework with those builds, so maybe we can't do so much. Uh, let's see if there's anything else in here I wanted to show off. Oh, the uh, stock setup. Available space. This is a very large ROM. I think I just accidentally tapped unmount SD and... That's got it busy. Hmm, don't know, that's come up in the past. I'll have to give that a try. But you can see there's 111 meg, 111 meg space available. Um, I've had peak mem up at boots with something like 48 meg of RAM available. Uh, I believe it was in that ballpark. I got notes here. Uh, oh, actually, total meg 224, available 46, active 64, inactive 99. So anyway, more to come. Keep an eye. Um, I'm recording in 720p, so I have to keep my videos under a certain length for the sake of YouTube. Catch you around.